Good day and thank you for joining us in another MYOB Advanced Training video. In this video we will have a look at purchasing. The purchases module in MYOB Advanced helps you organize and control the purchasing process, plan purchasing expenses and reduce spending on goods and services. You can view existing purchase orders, create new purchase orders and add lines to purchase orders. You can compose a purchase order based on existing sales orders or by adding separate lines of different sales orders. So let's go and add a purchase order. In your MOIB Advanced system, navigate to Purchases, Transactions and click on Purchase Orders. Click on the Add New Record icon on the top toolbar. This will take you to the Purchase Order form. On this form, search for your supplier and complete all of the relevant fields. On the Documents Details tab, click on the Add New Row icon, search for the inventory item and enter the quantity you would like to order. Because we have already set up the supplier prices, the unit cost will default. On the Tax Details tab, Make sure the tax assigned to your purchased items is correct. Untick the whole checkbox and save your changes once you are done. On the Actions drop-down list on the Form toolbar, you will have the following options. Approve. If the approval workflow is enabled, you click on this to approve the purchase order. Reject. If the approval workflow is enabled, you click on this to reject the purchase order. The purchase order can then be put on hold and changes can be made. Once the changes are finished, the purchase order can then be resent for approval. Email purchase order. To email the purchase order to the supplier. Mark as do not email. This function is connected to the don't email checkbox on the other information tab of the purchase order. Selecting this action will tick this checkbox. Enter PO receipt. Once stock is received, you create a purchase receipt by selecting this action. A new purchase receipt form is opened and all the information on the purchase order copied to the new purchase receipt. Enter AP Bill. You create an Accounts Payable Bill by selecting this action. A new Bills and Adjustment form is opened and all the information on the purchase order is copied. Complete Order. If you are not going to receive any more stock on the purchase order, the order can be completed by this action. Cancel order. Select this action if you want to cancel the purchase order and have the status change to cancelled. Recalculate prices. This action opens a dialog box where you can refresh both prices and discounts. Create prepayment. This action opens the built-in adjustment form with a new prepayment request. The prepayment can be used to pay for the order. From the Actions drop-down list, select Marked as Do Not Email and go to the Others Information tab and review the checkboxes. Don't Print and Don't Email will both be ticked. We now need to create a purchase receipt for this purchase order. From the Actions drop-down list, select Enter PO Receipt this will take you to the purchase receipt forms where a new form has been created and information from the purchase order copied. On the purchase receipt, you can still add stock not shown on the receipt, add another normal or drop shipment purchase order, add lines from another normal or drop ship purchase order, change the quantity of stock received, change the cost of the stock, allocate stock by location, lot and serial numbers and expiry dates, and add landed cost on the landed cost tab. On the purchase receipt, enter the supplier reference. Our purchase receipt has the create bill checkbox ticked by default so once the purchase receipt is released the AP bill will be created automatically. Make sure to untick the whole checkbox and save your changes. The receipt will now have a status of balanced. On the form toolbar, click on release once the receipt has been released, the stock will be updated to the warehouse and location. The stock value will be updated based on the valuation method on the stock item. 
an AP bill will also be released. This concludes our training video on purchasing. Please let us know with your feedback and please join us again for more as we explore MYB Advance through our training videos. Thank you for watching.